Oof. Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. We are continuing where we left off in the last video. We are looking for Aaron. We're still only about 50 meters away. So without further ado, let us begin. I just saw a squirrel right here. Oh, it was a rat. Let's run over here. Search for Aaron's tracks. Tracks. Maybe Aaron's and the vanguards. What is that noise? Oh, goodness. It's a ruin from the old world. But I could find something interesting inside. That machine was shut up. the canisters. Yeah, shoot the canisters with acid. There we go. I'll take that. The coil is now available in your inventory. Unlock coil slots on your weapons by upgrading them. Nice. This ruin looks like it's barely holding together. There must be a way to get inside. Okay. What do we have in here? Nothing to jump up on. Grab that. Of course. Oh, there we go. A relic. How do I get to it? Interesting. Okay, so can I move that? Ah, you know what? I bet I can do this. Yeah, we'll work this close. Oh, come on. Should have grabbed that. Nope, maybe not. This door needs some kind of key module. Maybe there's one in the ruin?
Interesting. Take all that. There's a code for the locked door in this data, but I still need to find a key mark. On the other side. Good. Can't use the pole caster on that. Key for the door. I was trying to pull that. There we go. Pull that down. Let's get down here. Right there. No more light down here. Is there a way up or something that I can? on to no something to pull me out doesn't look like it Oof. Well, I can't reach the ledge above now. Guess I'll have to find another way up. That's interesting because I can pull that into there. Needs back up. Try again. Down it goes. Wrong way, girl. <laughs> you keep 
falling off. There we go. Okay. Now where does this lead? There's our key. A key module. This needs a code, too. I think some of the data I picked up might help. Hotel room key. Oop. Do we have... Collectibles. This does not show anything. Data points. Dion reception, nothing else down here. Let's see what some of these others are. I don't think that's anything we can use. Excellent. So I don't really have anything that could tell me uh, useful information might be hidden within the data points gathered. I just looked at the data points. Maybe I didn't. Red permit code at symbol hash ampersand exclamation point 1705 Got it. There we go What is this thing? Guess I'll hold on to it for now I find a use for it later Nice. We got two more skill points. We'll get you out. Don't worry. Level five reached. What's this over here? Oh. Mighty thankful to you, Savior. Just Aloy is fine. Aaron mentioned you're not one for fancy titles. You're Vanguard. Well, here to escort Bardis' delicate behind to the embassy. If we can get rid of these bristlebacks. Captain said to keep an eye on Chainscrape, then these ugly lugs showed up. Gave the first one a good beating. But didn't quite have time to roll out of the way when it fell. Told you it wasn't a good idea to eat that much before heading out. I should probably get going. <laughs> Now, if you see any more of these bristlebacks, 
I'll make sure to roll out of their way. Might want to take some of these with you as well. They're handy in a pinch. Thanks. Stay safe, Aloy. Smoke bombs. Deploy smoke bombs to confuse nearby enemies and escape back into stealth. Sm smoke bombs can also be used underwater. That's very good to know. We'll keep that in our back pocket. Cool. So. Still got to follow the tracks. Which I think I lost. Oop. Wrong thing to shoot, but. That's nice. Craft up some more of this. We have five skill points. Let's uh, go. What is this? Quiet movement, passive boost, move more quietly, reducing the chance of being detected. Silent strike heal. Recover health when using silent strike. Approach an enemy undetected when prompted. Tapped left mouse button to execute a silent strike. We want this. We want this. Low profile. Reduce your visibility to enemies. We want the quiet movement and check that out. Stealth stalker level two, activate a cloaking device. Three. Can we equip this? Not enough skill points. We need three. Okay. Need one for that. Smoke bomb capacity. Max for smoke bombs. I think since we have two more skill points, let's go ahead and grab this one and this one. Now we're pretty solid here. <coughs> Excellent. So we're going to build up this infiltrator pretty well. We need to go that way. You have equipped a Valor Surge. Valor Surges are extremely powerful, rare abilities that can instantly turn the tide of a fight. Build up your Valor Surge bar and unleash its ultimate power. Earn Valor through tactical gameplay. And when a segment of the Valor Surge bar is full, activate the Valor Surge by opening the weapon wheel, F, and tapping spacebar. Unlock additional levels of Valor Surge in the skill tree to add segments to the Valor Surge bar and gain extra effects. Very nice. So, we are doing pretty good so far. Should we search around? We got them over there. We need to head up there. So that's what we'll do. There we go. Let's follow Aaron. Uh, 
By the way, uh, I have turned on auto pickup. So when it's not full, it'll automatically pick things up. That's just right here in the settings. You just go into down here and you go to pickups, auto pickup. So this will choose whether pickups are manually gathered with character animation or without animation or automatically gathered. Auto pickup will be disabled for some resources if your inventory is full. So I did add that. Let's go ahead and there we are. Where'd you go? There you are. Oh, he was right there. There we are. What is that noise? Sounds like someone's getting a fight. I found my cauldron. Oof. The espresso backs are everywhere. Errand. Another one down. Now this, this is what I was forged for. No ledgers to fill. <laughs> no boring mid-afternoon patrols. <laughs> Just a hammer. Just the fight. Aloy? Aaron! Well, go help him. Yeah, we will. Those bristlebacks have acid canisters on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. my best as usual well you did the hard part i just took care of the stragglers how bad is it uh, this ah, who needs ribs huh? <laughs> oh. oh i'm good i'm good huh. okay well I, I know you didn't come all the way to the daunt just to watch me get wrecked 
What's the story? I need the embassy to happen. So I can head west. Errand, what I did at the Spire... What we did... It didn't end the threat. It just slowed it down. There's still more to do. Really? Well, that's great! I mean, yeah, not the threat's not over part. That's not so great. But, but hey, what? whatever you're up against, your spear, my hammer, just like old times. Aaron, I need the embassy now. I can't wait for you to heal. A couple of days rest, it's that. Actually, even if you weren't hurt, what I have to do, it's... It's better if I do it alone. Alone? Ah, oh, that figures. Aaron! I hate to interrupt the romance, but I'm pretty banged up here. I don't blow your blaze, I'm coming. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Huh. Listen, I'll go to Baron Light, get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're gonna need this sun priest. Studious Wadis. Oh, I know him. I'll clear the Valley of Bristlebacks, then send Wadis to Baron Light. I'll catch up with you there. Well, I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. I'm sorry? You? Sorry? <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, that'd be a first. Where is this coming from? Hey, just, you know, forget it, yeah. Ugh. It's nothing. It sounds like something. All right, fine. Now, after the Battle of the Spire, you, you took off. You left without so much as a handshake. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear? What kind of person does that? Okay. Someone who had no other choice. Aaron. I'm sorry it wasn't easy for you when I left. And I know it's not easy now, but... What I've been doing... Life on Earth is in danger. And only I can save it. Life on Earth? Yeah. Everything dies unless I succeed. Well, then let me help! Oh. You can't. There's no machine to fight, no bad guy to kill. What I've got to do, I... I can't even explain it. Not even to people I care about. Oh, so much for being useful. Okay. Aaron! By the forge. I guess that's my cue. Maybe I should go with you to Baron Light. No, no, hey, you're needed elsewhere. Obviously. We'll make it without you. Well. You'll have to handle that one on your own. We'll only slow you down. I said we're good, Aloy. Oh, ha. You go on ahead. Why okay. Are you standing around for then? Let's collect all this. Because why not? We are here. Where'd you go? There you are. Sorry, buddy. But I need stuff from you.
find the cauldron out here, I don't know how to override that. Whoops. back over there. Okay, let's keep moving. I already took care of all this, right? Yep. <clears throat> There's a campfire up here. Woohoo! Well, there's another campfire over here. Ooh. There's the quarry Fearless mentioned. Well, Go ahead and save it here. Just One less machine. One down. Hey, 
incoming. Come on. One less machine. Okay. Another one down. Oof. We'll talk after I search all these that I took down. All right, that was not so bad. A normal. <laughs> Oh, let's go get these. Come here, kid. I want to talk to you. All right, now we'll talk. I don't know what Anora's doing out here, but consider yourself old. We tried to hold off and wait for the Vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Is everyone okay? We lost some good people. But we would have lost the whole quarry without you. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work. But Chain Scrape's whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. A whistle? You need the whistle to get back to work? Me and my crew were just little cogs out here. Can't lift a hammer till Olven blows that thing. Because if we work without his say-so, he'll ban us. And my people have been through enough. Elvin holds that much power? He's got the money and connections to snuff our fires for good. Almost feels like we stood a better chance with the bristlebacks. The quarry? What are you and your crew working on? We're supposed to be working Elvin's claim, digging out stone to show our barren light. But the work stoppage and the bristlebacks cut us short. Never seen those blasted things in a dawn before. Where in Forge Fire did they come from? I'm not sure. At least not yet. I need to get going. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. All right. I think I've cleared out most of the bristlebacks. Valley should be safe enough to travel. I'll go give Bloodies the good news. Then maybe this embassy can finally happen. Let's go ahead and give it a save. That's a lot of chargers. Now that's not Time to give Wadis to Baron Light. Almost ready to go. 
Ooh, what's over here? Some of your stew last time I went into the wilds. It kept me going for a week. It felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hold. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh. My apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. Olven's people? Are Olven's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals, not trouble. This place? How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they liked my food. More than ale. About that food? Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way, assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildiff. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Yeah, ma'am. Awesome. Already got enough meat and bitter leaf. Just need to grab a metal panel from the scourger pile. New data point. Nice. What's this? Come to revel in some strike, sister? Let me set the board. I was just passing by. I mm, first timer, huh? Mm. Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set. A Tanakh original straight out of the Forbidden West. Sit, 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 sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. I'll give you something special if you win it on my boards, too. Okay. Sounds interesting. Beginner's tutorial not completed. <clears throat> All right. 
Introduction, Machine Strike is a two-player strategy game played by the tribes of the Forbidden West. Each player owns different boards and favors a particular set of machine pieces. Defeat them all and become the ultimate strike master in the West. How to win? Whenever an opponent's machine is destroyed, whether by your hand or theirs, its value is added to your pool of victory points. Acquire seven victory points before your opponent or destroy all machines to claim victory. At the beginning of each game, both players choose a set of pieces to play with. Each player then places those pieces with the two rows closest to them. The owner of the board chooses who goes first. The game proceeds by turns from there in on out. Mobilizing a machine piece each turn a player can mobilize two machine pieces. Each of them can only be used once per turn. If a player has only one machine piece, they are allowed to use it twice. Player can choose to move on a machine to a different terrain or attack first. Mobilized machines do not need to attack, but must move in order to complete a turn. Sprinting. A player can move a machine one terrain beyond their normal movement range if they choose not to attack an opposing machine or are too far away to land an attack. This is called sprinting. Overcharging. A player can decide to sacrifice a machine's health in order to attack an opposing machine or move after they've depleted all other possible actions. Once a player has mobilized two machine pieces, their turn can end. The board, a standard board, is made up of eight grid, of an eight by eight grid of up to six different terrains. Each type of terrain influences a machine's combat power. So nice. I'm just gonna click each one of these. You can pause on each step if you'd like to read it all. Okay. Oh, that's okay. We can always play later. Oh. I think we'll play this later. Um, let's get back to our video here. All right, we are running awfully. Behind. Let's go grab this real fast. There we go. The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain says. When I've cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay. Banged up, but breathing. And waiting up ahead for you. Well, I shall not be moving anywhere until the whistle has sounded. If it is not safe for them, then it is not safe for me. Fine. I'll make sure the whistle gets blown, and then I'll be back. Hear that? We're not leaving yet. Unpack the cart! No. I'll be right back. Don't get comfortable. As if that were possible here. Ugh. The butcher mentioned Olvind is supposed to be in charge around here. Guess I should talk to him to get the whistle blown. Let's go ahead and stop here. There we go. Here, Olvund. The bristlebacks threat. What do you want, Olvund? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. 
might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freehold, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. You and the Karja. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the Magistrate? Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more! Work stoppage. You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osirum lives! Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? <laughs> it's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work, while only the Karja reap the rewards! All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people, for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. And, uh, who appointed you? If Chain Scrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ah! The Magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority, then? People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chain Scrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder, and its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. Founding of Chain Scrape? You said you founded Chain Scrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in Baron Light's shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chain Scrape is what it is thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these... Honest, working Osram. Blow the whistle. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day or two. <sighs> no, you blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay- Either you do it now, or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it! Friends, gather around. Huh? The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The Bristlebacks are defeated! 
You. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business. Terrific. Yay. And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah. That's where I like it. Yeah. Woo. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do. <laughs> All right. Return to Vaudis. Merchants are now available. You can purchase new equipment, restock your resources, and sell unneeded items at merchants. Items in the valuables to sell category are always safe to sell. There are many types of merchants. Stitchers sell protective new outfits. Hunters sell powerful new weapons. Herbalists sell valuable potions. And cooks sell skill-boosted food. Other merchants have their own unique stock. Visit a new merchant whenever you encounter hey, one. I thought you'd left by now. Excellent. Well, the chance well. back to work. Merchants <clears throat> open a trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Baron Light. Better see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. Yep. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you're new around here, please subscribe. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.